Good evening and welcome to another episode of What's Going On. Harry, yesterday, ugh, yesterday, we got some type of bullshit report about Megan supposedly going to Matthew Perry's funeral and now today we get this. <sighs> I mean, I knew this was going to happen, that you two people were going to try and latch on to anything that's going to get you in the news and have you in the press, but this is stupid man now it's you with matthew perry matthew perry helped prince harry deal with terrifying panic attacks <laughs> oh i hate this so much but it's not surprising coming from these two morons it really really isn't i have to tell you this isn't surprising at all and i bet you it's not even anything specific either like it's just the headline for this moron to stay in the press and he's connecting himself to matthew perry Watch, let's get into it. Prince Harry revealed in his highly publicized memoir, Spare, how hit U.S. comedy sitcom Friends helped him cope with terrifying... So it literally has nothing to do with Matthew Perry. <laughs> it's just the show Friends. And then even then, that is stupid. Oh, Friends helped me cope with terrifying panic attacks. Oh. oh, Harry, are the panic attacks like the ones that you get from the cameras when the cameras are clicking and flashing, even though you're always in front of the cameras just like you were in Austin last week? What about that? Is that what you're talking about? Your terrifying panic attacks, bro, you're full of shit, dude. And this is horrible bullshit, man. And we knew, we knew. We knew that you two people were going to connect yourselves some way, somehow to that because that was one of the biggest stories into this. We, it, I knew it was going to happen. I really did. Harry, the client, you know the title we won't say, also penned in his autobiography that he related to the character of Chandler Bing. Harry. Now, I know you're full of shit, but this is pushing it. <laughs> This is pushing it, Harry. How the hell could you possibly be relate like relatable to Chandler Bing in any way? How? This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And again, you're only doing it so that way the headline reads Prince Harry and Matthew Perry. That's the only reason you pulled this stupid shit. Oh. Harry wrote that he was going through a rough patch. Oh no, Harry. Uh, Harry, no, you're going through your little rough patch. Oh, no, imagine, just imagine, Harry, how much it must be a rough patch when you have tens of millions of dollars in the bank. Mm, sounds like a rough patch, huh? Oh, and I love what people out there say, like, oh, money doesn't help. Money doesn't buy happiness. Are you sure? Have you ever been poor before, you stupid rich a-hole? No, of course you haven't, Harry. You don't know anything about rough patches, you rich douchebag. Okay, and was experiencing debilitated bouts of lethargy. Harry, that's just called being bored. Debilitating bouts of lethargy or lethargy, however you say it. That's just called being bored. You're just bored and you don't want to do anything. No, Harry, you were never depressed. You were never in a rough patch. You were just crying like a petulant child that you are. That's what it is. Okay, terrifying panic attacks again. You know, can I tell you something? Have you ever noticed that these rich people, they always have to give themselves problems so that way people won't just see them as rich a-holes? Have you ever noticed that? It's always like that. Terrifying panic attacks. Yeah, I doubt it. And couldn't even carry out his royal duties in 2013. Whatever, bro. Now you're blaming panic attacks for your royal duties, you lazy a-hole. We know you didn't want to do any of your royal duties because you're lazy. And then you met that other lazy call girl. And she didn't want to do any of her royal duties either. So you two people deserve each other. And then you left the royal family. And then you cried victim about it. So you're trying to tell me that this says you're a lazy ass and then we know she's a lazy ass. So those two things don't compute. Hmm? That math is mathin. You're both lazy ass entitled people and you want everything given to you. That's what it is. Desperate for answers. Harry admitted to turning to the internet for self-diagnosis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
Mary, you have money. You could have gone to go see a doctor. And that's how I know you're full of shit. And that's the end of that. Oh, self-diagnosis, entering his symptoms into Google in hopes of identifying the source of his distress. Harry, the source of your distress is in your head. Harry, that's the end of that. Harry, the source of your distress is in your head. Oh, you stupid, rich idiot. The source of your distress is that you were doing too much booger sugar. And that's still your problem now. You're doing all kinds of booger sugar and you think that, oh, who's coming to get me? There's people. There's people. They're coming to get me. Hey, Harry, are, is everything okay? Like, do you need security? Yes, I need security. Because there's people coming to get me. Well, you, let's just calm down, okay? Let's just not do drugs anymore. No, it's not the drugs. It's not the drugs. They're coming to get me. That's you, Harry. That's you right there. So we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. We will catch you next time.